Hi guys, my name is Rochelle and welcome to this video. So in this video, I thought I would clean out my figure skating bag for the first time in many, many years. This right here is a Zuka bag. It is one of the few figure skating bags I've had. I switched bags a couple times. I don't really use this bag anymore. I actually use a different bag right now. But when I stopped using this bag, I didn't clean it out. And I stopped using this when I was about like 15, I think, 14, 15, I'm not really sure. Somewhere around that time. It has been a solid five years since I last opened this bag. So as you can imagine, there could be some very disgusting stuff inside. And I'm kind of scared to see what's inside. I mean, I don't really know what's inside. It'll be a surprise. I'm just hoping there's like no rotten food inside because that would be absolutely disgusting. As I said earlier, this right here is a Zuka bag. It's kind of like a luggage almost. It actually has four wheels so you can pull it upstairs as well without like, you know, denting the metal frame. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but like when I was a kid, I used to have like rolling school backpacks. And when you would roll it up the stairs, the metal handle in the back would get dented. So this Zuka bag has four wheels so you could roll it up the stairs and avoid it being dented in the process. This bag, you buy the frame and the bag separately. It gives you the option to choose whatever bag design you want. They were so popular when I was a kid. Every skater my age basically had one. My parents got this for me when I was 11 for Christmas. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story about this bag. When I got this bag for Christmas, I was so excited because in the new year, which was 2012, I was about to go attend my first competition because almost every skater my age then had a Zuka bag. I wanted to show up to my first competition with a Zuka bag as well. I wanted to fit in and stuff like that. When I think about it now, that just seems very mainstream of me and it makes me kind of want to cringe. But that is a true story. I wanted a Zuka bag because I wanted to be like the other girls. So thank you mom and dad for gifting me a Zuka bag and fulfilling my dreams. I used this bag for a couple years and it was great. But then when I hit high school, this bag was just kind of annoying. It was becoming very clunky. That is when I switched to a duffel bag, which brings me to this video. Five years later, I am cleaning out my Zuka bag because I didn't do it then. So it's gotta get done now. Before we get started in cleaning out my figure skating bag, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get on with cleaning out this bad boy right here. Okay, so the first thing we have in here are my old skates. Wow, I forgot how beaten up these are. They're pretty destroyed. I can't exactly remember when I bought these skates, but I remember I bought them before high school, so when I was still in elementary school. And this is my first big investment in life. I had to buy the blade and the boot separately, and in total, it was like a couple hundred dollars. I've probably saved up many years of birthday and Christmas money just to get these. You know, I probably felt broke then just because I was spending years worth of savings, but it gave me a glimpse of growing up. I wore these skates for about three years. I broke them in so much that I wasn't able to trade them in when I got my current pair of skates. So at least I know I got my money's worth. All these skates do now is just sit in my closet and they come out once in a while when I go skating with my friends on lakes or ponds, any outdoor rink usually. The next thing I have in here is oof, an insane amount of gloves. Look at how many pairs of gloves there are here. This is how many gloves I went through in the 11 years I skated. Actually, this isn't all of it. I still have a few pairs in my current skating bag, but this is most of it. Let's count how many pairs of gloves I actually went through. So I have this white pair that is no longer white and it's pretty badly destroyed. I mean, look at all these holes. I don't even know how this happens to my gloves. Like, how do I get this many holes in a glove? Then we have another pair, which these are beige gloves, also has some holes. A black pair also has holes. Another beige pair, it has a tiny little hole. I have three of the same glove here, but I'm missing one of them. But these black ones all still have a hole in them as well. And then I have one red glove. Did I just wear a red and a black one together like this? Oh, this red glove right here. I remember why I wore one red glove because one of the years for my solo, I had these like arm movements at the beginning of my solo and I kind of had to like spot one of my hands because I wasn't looking at the right hand each time. I was told to wear a red glove so I would be spotting the red glove, which is actually pretty smart because I think it worked. So yeah, that is the story of me wearing one red glove. But in total, we have six pairs of gloves here and they all have holes in them. How did I get holes in all of these? I have no clue. In one of the inside pockets, we have a Polaroid of my friend and I, and we have two envelopes with my name on it. These tiny envelopes are empty. In the next pocket, ooh, 
we have some candy. I don't know how old this candy is and I don't want to know. <laughs> it doesn't smell gross in the sense that it's like rotten or anything, but it smells gross in the sense that it is a candy bracelet and I don't like the smell of candy bracelets. It just smells very artificial and I don't like that smell. Does candy rot? I don't think I even want to know how old this candy is. Yeah, I am tossing that out now. That is disgusting. In the same pocket, we have my name tag as a program assistant. Oh, that's so clever. There's like a smiley face sticker on it with a bow on it because I used to wear bows. We have solo music. I kind of want to listen to this to see what kind of music it's actually inside because it's not labeled and I can't remember what song it is. Moving on to the side pockets of the Zuka bag. We have a purple skipping rope, a red skipping rope. I found the black glove that I was missing from before. Okay, so the missing glove solved. I also have a little stocking. I have another little stocking that's in white instead of red this time. I have a card. Oh, a thank you card for going to a birthday party for one of my friends. And the last thing we have in this pocket is a receipt. The date on this is June 27th, 2015. On the other side pocket, we have a pair of guards. A pair of broken guards. I don't know how this happened. The other one's okay, but I don't know how this one got pretty beaten up. I also have a figure skating guard keychain on my bag. I remember always wanting one of these keychains for my bag and now I have like eight of them. I have another pair of skate guards that are green and this right here is the name tag for them. Didn't know they make name tags for skating guards, but they do apparently. In my hand right here is the brochure for the club summer camp. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you it just because if I show you it, that would reveal my location and I don't want that on the internet. That is everything in my skating bag. So glad that there is no rotting food in it other than the rotting candy. Anyways, this brings me to the end of this video. This bag cleaning really was necessary just because if I didn't clean it now, I don't know how many more years all of this stuff would be sitting in here for. If you stayed till the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing what's inside my ex skating bag. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Oh my gosh, my leg is numb from sitting on the floor. Okay, now it's actually goodbye. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat.